Lewis had parked his Model 3 on a New York City street when a crazy crash activated his sentry mode. The driver of a Toyota evidently thought a school bus was driving too slowly and decided to overtake it. In the process, the Toyota clipped the front end of the bus and flipped onto its roof. What a takedown! By the time Lewis returned to his car, everything had been cleaned up, so he doesn't know anything else about what happened. It's actually kind of difficult to know exactly what caused the collision. It looks like the Toyota crossed a solid line while passing the bus. Then the bus moved to the left and the two vehicles made contact. Either that or the Toyota just got too close to the bus's mirror. Either way, we have to believe the Toyota driver was found to be at fault, but leave your theory in the comments. We'll see if we can find any more info and provide a follow-up in a future episode. Robert was driving his Model S Performance with his two sons on their way to serve at their church's homeless service center. Suddenly, the driver of a Dodge Charger ran a stop sign and caused a T-bone collision with a Toyota Highlander. The Toyota driver was an elderly man who was taken away in an ambulance. The Charger driver didn't seem too happy when Robert told him that his Tesla had recorded the whole thing. Robert provided his information to the police and sent a copy of his Tesla cam footage to the Toyota driver's son. The police haven't contacted him yet. Robert sent along a shout out for his sons, Bobby and Max. Eli was waiting in a bank teller drive through line when the woman driving the Nissan in front of him dropped some papers. She leaned out to pick them up before falling out of her car and the car began rolling away toward a highway filled with 50 mile per hour traffic. Eli jumped out of his car and chased down the Nissan. He managed to stop it right as it entered the highway and was nearly hit, saving her car and many others from a potentially horrible situation. Now that's hero stuff right there. The woman was fine and she thanked Eli with a big hug after the epic save. Eli later got a letter from his bank thanking him for saving the car and creating a great memory for the staff. They even included a gift card to a local coffee shop. Eli is this week's real MVP. Albert was driving his Model 3 in the middle lane of the Belt Parkway at around 3 a.m. when the driver of an Infiniti came speeding up behind him. There was another Model 3 in the left lane, so the Infiniti driver decided to pass Albert on the right. When he crossed the middle lane to get to the right lane, he lost control and crashed into the passenger side of Albert's Tesla. Then he took off, making it a hit and run. For a second, Albert considered chasing after the guy, but then he remembered he had the whole incident on camera, so he backed off and called the police to make a report instead. He filed an insurance claim, and the other driver denied anything had happened when he was contacted. His insurance provider accepted fault anyway and paid $3,200 US dollars to fix Albert's Tesla. Albert is one of our Platinum Patreon supporters, and you'll see his name pop up later in the credits. Thanks for your support, Albert. While Eli was waiting for his daughter at CVS, an SUV pulled into an empty parking space before backing up, hitting the corner of a car parked behind it. Thankfully, the driver of the other car was inside it when this happened, but the lady driving the SUV still took off without talking to them. A good Samaritan followed the SUV and convinced the driver to return. Eli shared his Tesla cam footage with the victim right after the accident before the cops even arrived. Dorian was heading to work in Howell, New Jersey when a street sweeper collided with a pickup truck that was taking an exit. When the two vehicles collided, the impact sent the street sweeper up a ramp and onto two wheels. Then both vehicles headed across Route 34, over the median, and into oncoming lanes. Neither party was injured, and when Dorian reached out to the police with his footage, they told him they didn't need it since the pickup driver had admitted fault. Dorian sent along a shout out for his brother Demetrios, who's always watching Wham Bam. Mario sent us this video taken during an ice storm on April 5th in Montreal, Canada. Sentry mode was triggered when a tree branch fell, barely missing Mario's parked Tesla and a delivery guy. The delivery guy snapped a photo, but one pedestrian just kept walking under the fallen tree as if it were just another day in Canada. 
The tree hit Mario's neighbor's car, which was severely damaged, but thankfully there was no damage to Mario's car. He thinks the ice probably protected his Tesla from the debris. Seeing all that ice just gives me the chills. Carlito sent us this video showing that trees are attacking in Texas as well. What do you think is going on? Are the trees getting revenge against humans for climate change? That would be crazy. These jokes are getting worse. I should really branch out. Okay, I'll stop. Comment your best tree joke. The best joker will win a Wham Bam hoodie. Tyler had taken his dad's Model X for a joyride and to do some grocery shopping. He'd only driven about two blocks from his house when he saw a fire truck activate its emergency lights. Tyler started to pull over before seeing a red Honda Civic blow the stop sign. The fire truck T-boned the Civic, spinning it out and taking out the stop sign on the other side. Tyler pulled over to tell the firefighters he'd captured footage of the crash. The firefighters told him they'd love to see it, so he let them watch it on the screen of his Tesla. They were stunned by the car's advanced features. One of the firefighters filmed the screen, and Tyler was asked to stick around in case their chief also wanted to see the footage. About 10 minutes later, a police officer arrived and asked Tyler to send him a copy of the footage. Thankfully, nobody was harmed in the collision. Tyler sent a shout out for his dad Tong for always being the best and letting him drive around in his Model X. Dan was driving his Model S in Hayes, Kentucky when he witnessed someone transporting a walker by driving while holding onto it outside of the car. That doesn't seem very safe. Every time I think I've seen it all. Kevin works at Walmart and another employee encountered the cart demon one windy day when it took control and aimed directly for Kevin's Model 3. Kevin told us that when the other employee told him what had happened, he looked ready to throw up, like he thought he was going to get fired. He was relieved when Kevin told him that it was just a car and he wasn't getting fired. Ashley was leaving her neighborhood when another driver backing out of their driveway failed to check for traffic before reversing right into her car. She immediately called her fiance Michael, who ran out of the house and down the street to check on her. The other driver claimed Ashley had been driving too fast and asked why she didn't see her backing out. Obviously, Ashley had the right of way and didn't need to stop, and the other driver was required to yield for traffic. They filed an insurance claim and are waiting to hear back. Tesla Dude was using autopilot and moving with the flow of traffic around 10 miles per hour above the limit when a Toyota Prius passed him in the far right lane at a very high rate of speed. It then continued to weave rapidly through traffic up ahead. Less than a mile later, the Prius had ended up on the wrong side of a guardrail protecting a cloverleaf interchange. Tesla Dude stopped to make sure nobody was hurt before patiently waiting for a state trooper to respond. The trooper told him the driver had said he was brake checked and had been forced off the road for over 50 yards to avoid hitting a car ahead of him. After showing his video to the trooper, Tesla Dude thinks the Prius driver probably received a much deserved performance award. Tesla Dude sent along this message for our viewers. Behave yourself around Teslas. They're always recording. He also pointed out they keep recording even while someone is watching previously recorded footage inside. Ileana was driving on a highway in Miami, Florida when she was startled by two speeding cars. She believes the drivers of the Tesla and the Mercedes were street racing each other. She thinks they might have been taking advantage of the light traffic. Should we roll the Tesla behaving badly jingle? I think we should. George was in his Model Y with his dad when a white truck with a trailer ahead of them began rolling coal, so George changed lanes to avoid the thick smoke. The truck driver also changed lanes, staying in front of them, so George merged over again, and so did the truck. 
George had had enough of the truck's coughing, so he floored the juice pedal and zipped around him to escape the fossil fumes. Amit was driving with his family in their Model Y on I-294 on a Saturday evening. They were following a truck, and Amit had a feeling that its tarp was about to come loose. That feeling grew stronger, so Amit moved to the left lane so he wouldn't be directly behind the truck. Sure enough, 20 seconds later, the truck lost its load. What looks like drywall came flying off the truck and landed exactly where Amit had been driving before he changed lanes. Amit immediately pulled up next to the truck to alert the driver of the flying object and they pulled over on the shoulder. Well, you know what to do if you have a strong feeling about something. Don't doubt your vibe. While Wayne was out enjoying an event in Toronto, Ontario, another driver made a very poor attempt to park next to his month-old 2023 Model Y. Sentry mode caught the approach of the clean, well-kept vehicle on the front camera. The left camera captured the steady, then rapid maneuver as the vehicle rammed into a light pole. When Wayne returned to his Tesla, he saw the damaged car parked next to it and wondered how it could have been driven in such poor condition. When he saw the sentry mode alert, he watched the footage with his friend and they were shocked by what had happened. This Model 3 owner was driving in the left lane of a highway, planning to overtake a couple of semi-trucks up ahead. The driver of a pickup truck behind him grew impatient and passed him on the right, nearly running him off the road in the process. The submitter told us that in Denmark, it's illegal to overtake on the inside and the fine is 200 US dollars plus a point off your license. It's also illegal to drive in the passing lane without overtaking traffic and that fine is 100 US dollars and no points off your license. Our submitter admits they were both in the wrong in their own ways, but he thinks running someone off the road is a much more serious offense than staying in the passing lane. He's considering sending his footage to the police, but he wants your advice. Let him know what you think he should do in the comments below. Tanino was driving in the countryside around Paris when three wild pigs decided to cross the road. These wild pigs are very common in the French countryside, and Tanino told us the group of Tesla owners he belongs to often share images of collisions with these animals. Thankfully, he was able to avoid hitting them and the high repair bill that would have resulted. Those pigs weigh somewhere between 165 and 200 pounds. That's not something you want to run your car into. Ryan was driving to Starbucks one icy spring morning. The driver ahead of him applied the brakes, as we can see by their illuminated brake lights, but the slick road sent them sliding anyway. They slid into the intersection before being hit by a car. Both vehicles pulled over, but then the driver that had slid through the red light decided to make a run for it and took off into the sunset. Speaking of sunsets, the sun never sets on our new Patreon campaign. Be sure to check it out. Man, we got a Patreon man. Please support the show. Yeah, it looks nice. Wham, bam, wham, bam, Tesla jam.